Hello and welcome to the 10th news broadcast of the UFLS channel. My name is Wu Ti Zhou Sha, lecturer of the English faculty, staying with you throughout the program. Here are the highlights of the 10th news broadcast for quarter two of year 2023. Midterm review conference on implementation of resolution by the fifth party congress of UFLS UD term 2020-2025. 7th Labor Union Congress of UFLSUD Term 2023-2028 Official Assessment of 9 Undergraduate Training Programs at UFLSUD Online Admission Consultation for Full-Time Undergraduate Program in 2023 Student Scientific Research Conference for Academic Year 2022-2023 Opening training course to improve pedagogical competence for English teachers in Dakhnon province. UFLS UD organizes a mission consultation program for overseas students in Laos in 2023. Working visit of delegation of Wakayama Prefectural Government, Japan to UFLS UD. Reception and working session with AI Jersey State Pedagogical University Russian Federation. Internship experience at Yachtabat Udong Thani University Thailand of UFLS UD students. On the afternoon of June 15, 2023, the party committee of the UFLS UD held a midterm review conference on the implementation of the resolution by the fifth party congress of UFLS UD term 2020-2025 and the review of the party development in the first six months of year 2023. Opening the conference, Mr. Zheng Hu Fuk, member of the party committee of UD, party secretary and rector of UFLS UD, stated that this preliminary conference was an important political activity to evaluate the implementation of the resolution by the fifth party congress, term 2020-2025. The purpose was to draw lessons and experience, to discuss and work out directions, tasks, and solutions to continue implementing the resolution of the Congress in the later half of the term and to outline the direction for the development of the university in the coming period. With the spirit of solidarity, innovation, creativity, the Midterm Review Conference on Implementation of the Resolution by the Fifth Party Congress of UFLS UD Term 2020-2025 was successfully organized. Right after that, the University Party Committee also held a preliminary review of the party building work in the first six months of 2023. On May 19, 2023, the 7th Labor Union Congress of UFLSUD term 2023-2028 was successfully organized with the new Executive Committee of the Labor Union of UFLSUD for the term 2023-2028 and delegates to the 6th UD Labor Union Congress being elected. With the spirit of objectivity and democracy, the delegates elected the Executive Committee of the Labor Union of UFLSUD for the term 2023-2028, including 11 members with political and ethical qualities and enthusiasm to successfully complete the task of the new term. The Congress also elected 22 official delegates and four alternates to attend the 6th UD Labor Union Congress. On the morning of June 30th, 2023, University of Foreign Language Studies, the University of Da Nang, UFLS UD, in collaboration with the Center for Education Accreditation, EA, Vietnam National University in Hanoi, held the opening of the official assessment of nine undergraduate training programs according to the standards of the Ministry of Education and Training, including the French English Teacher Education, Chinese Language Teacher Education, and Japanese Language High Quality Program. Program, English Language High Quality Program, Business English High Quality Program, Russian Language, Korean Language High Quality Program, Chinese Language High Quality Program, and International Studies High Quality Program. 
the assessment delegation with 12 assessors split into two teams will conduct the site visit and assessment for the nine programs in eight days from June 30th to July 6, 2023 at UFLSUD. On the morning of April 16, 2023, the online admission consultation for the full-time undergraduate program in 2023 of UFLSUD was successfully held, providing timely information and addressing inquiries of high school students. The online admission consultation was live-streamed, attracting a large number of views and interactions, with a lot of questions from high school students and parents being raised. The consultation session introduced the new points in the 2023 admission plan of the UFLSUD and answered the concerns and queries of high school students regarding admission regulations and policies, tuition fees, uh, training programs, and career opportunities. The Student Scientific Research Conference of UFLSUD for the academic year 2022-2023 took place on June 2, 2023. After more than six months of implementation, the organizing committee received 254 registered research topics. From April 10 to April 29 of 2023, the faculty-level Student Scientific Research Week was organized, with the best 172 research topics being selected for the formal presentation at the conference. After one day of hard work, the conference concluded and awarded 16 first prizes, 32 second prizes, 48 third prizes, and 65 encouragement prizes to outstanding topics from the 16 subcommittees. The first prize winners received rewards and certificates of commendation from the university's rector, as well as nomination for participation in the UD level, city level, and ministry level competitions. The second, third, and encouragement prize winners also received rewards and certificates of commendation from the university's rector. On June 19, 2023, UFLSUD organized the opening ceremony for the training course in foreign language proficiency and pedagogical practice for English teachers of Duck Nong Province, Department of Education and Training. This training course consists of five classes, including one class in English proficiency, four classes in pedagogical practice. Participants are 130 English teachers of various levels, from primary to high school within the province. The training course is of great necessity to assist the English teachers in the advancement of their English proficiency and English teaching practice to meet the requirements of implementing the new 2018 general education program of the English subject. This course covers important models such as organizing learning environment, LE, and English in the Classroom EFT. On May 7 to May 13, 2023, delegation from UFLSUD led by Associate Professor Dr. Nguyen Van Long, Vice Rector of University, visited and worked in Laos. During their visits to the provinces of Savannakhet, Champasak, Slavans, Sikong, and Atapur, the delegation met, discussed, and worked with the representatives from various departments of foreign affairs, departments of education and sports, and the Vietnamese Language Center for the provinces and other relevant agencies. The discussion focused on the implementation of cooperation programs between Da Nang City and the provinces of Laos in 2023. These programs included granting scholarships, providing admission information for the 2023-2024 academic year of UFLSUD. In the working sessions, the delegation shared useful information about training programs as well as scholarship policies for Lao students, thereby contributing to strengthening and promoting the cooperation relationship between Da Nang City with the provinces of Laos in particular and between Vietnam and Laos in general. On June 27, 2023, Dr. Huynh Ngoc Mai Ka, Vice Rector of UFLSUD, chaired a meeting and working session with the delegation of Wakayama Prefectural Government, Japan, led by Mr. Yamamoto Yu. 
On this occasion, Dr. Nguyen Ngoc Mai Ka expressed her appreciation and thanks to the Japanese entrepreneurs and businesses for establishing relationships and providing feedback regarding the quality of the training programs. This has enabled the university to make timely assessment of and adjustment to the learning outcomes, thereby ensuring the students' mastery of essential skills to meet the demands of the industry. On June 27, 2023, Dr. Hun Ngoc Mai Ka, Vice Rector of UFLSUD, chaired a reception and working session with Dr. Dimitri Ivanchivit Mbershevskin, Vice Rector in Charge of International Affairs of AI, Chosun State Pedagogical University, Russian Federation. Dr. Hun Ngoc Mai Ka extended her warm welcome to the faculty members from AI, Chosun State Pedagogical University, Russia, for teaching collaboration and exchange. She also hoped that this would be an excellent opportunity for the students of UFLSUD to engage in language environment and develop their language skills. From April 19, 2023 to May 13, 2023, 55 students from the Faculty of English for Special Purposes, FESP, the Faculty of English, the Faculty of International Studies, and the Group of Thai Language participated in an internship program at Rajabat Udon Thani University, Thailand. Over a course of one month at the university, the students had the opportunity to do an internship at different units of Rajabat Odonthani University, such as the Department of International Cooperation, the Department of Language and Culture, and the other departments and faculties. In addition to internships, students also took part in extracurricular activities and cultural exchanges with Thai lecturers and students and the local Thai communities. On the morning of April 19, 2023, the group of fourth-year students from the Faculty of Japanese Language and Culture, UFLSUD, flew to Japan where they could spend half a year practicing in a professional environment at Kinugawa Hotel and Katsura Mikazuki Hotel, Japan. The group of 14 female students from Cohort 19 went through many rounds of interviews and were selected to receive a scholarship for a six-month paid internship in Japan. The scholarship covers the route trip airfare and accommodation in Japan, sponsored by Mikazuki Corporation Japan, a famous Japanese hotel brand. On the afternoon of May 24, 2023, UFLSUD, in collaboration with Latte Fukang Duty Free Company, organized the scholarship awarding ceremony for the first semester of the 2022-2023 academic year, funded by the Latte Scholarships Foundation. The scholarships were awarded to 11 outstanding students from University of Foreign Language Studies, UD, and 6 students from University of Economics, UD, for their excellent academic achievements and great efforts in overcoming disadvantaged life conditions. The Latte Scholarship Foundation started its scholarship program in 2008 with 34 students from the two universities in Vietnam and has continuously expanded. To date, the Latte Scholarship Foundation has granted scholarships to 161 students from 23 universities in Vietnam. On May 12, 2023, UFLSUD organized a seminar titled The Application of Artificial Intelligence in Language Teaching Opportunities and Challenges. The event features a guest speaker, Associate Professor Dr. Nguyen Ngoc Phu, Vice Rector of the University of Foreign Language Studies, Informitis, Ho Chi Minh City, and Chairman of STESO, Association of Universities and Colleges in Vietnam. At the forum, Associate Professor Dr. Nguyen Ngoc Phu delivered a presentation and shared insights on the intersection of linguistics and computer science, the significance of AI in English language teaching, and the potential of AI to enhance pedagogical effectiveness in language education. Importantly, the presentation also addressed ethical aspects related to the application of AI, addressing concerns regarding privacy, security, and equity access in language teaching. On the morning of April 21, 2023, UFLS-UD officially held the opening ceremony of the UFLS Reading Week 2023 with the theme, Books, Awareness, Innovation, Creativity. 
At the event, the organizing board also announced the results and awarded prizes for the video clip design competition titled Books and Changes of My Life. The competition, launched on March 24th, received 70 video entries from students representing different faculties. These videos showcased profound content, inspirational messages, and positive energy for the viewers. The UFLS Reading Week 2023 took place from April 21st to April 27th, featuring various exciting activities. The UFLS Reading Week was also an occasion for lecturers, staff, and students of different faculties to explore the book exhibitions of various bookstores and do on-site reading with numerous book copies from the community library. On the afternoon of April 14, 2023, UFLS-UD held a talk show with the theme How to Grow Your Mind for Lasting Success with the attendance of the guest speaker, Mr. Jones Andre Pierre, CEO of Furama Tourism Complex, Ariyana Dadang, Senior Advisor of IBH Hospitality Training Academy. The talk show is part of the series of the Reading Week 2023 event. At the exchange event, Mr. Jong Andre Pierre shared his knowledge and experience, hoping that this would be a good opportunity for students to make informed choices about their future career paths. Mr. Andre Pierre also introduced to students five books that can bring certain benefits and values to each student. The participants had the opportunity to ask questions and have an open talk with Mr. John Andre Pierre and to join in exciting mini games with representatives of business leaders. As part of the events during the Reading Week 2023, on the morning of March 25, 2023, UFLS UD organized a talk show with the theme Great Books in the Translation Chinese. The talk show was successfully held, attracting over 300 language enthusiasts and book lovers. Many stories and real-life experiences were shared by the invited guest speakers who are lecturers and professionals in the field. This provided participating students further understanding of the translation and interpretation work, which then inspired them greatly towards the translation profession. On the morning of June 8, 2023, at Hall 8 of the University of Foreign Language Studies, University of Da Nang, the Executive Committee of the Vietnamese Student Association of Da Nang City held a summary conference for the students of Five Merit Movement of Da Nang City for the period of 2018-2023. At the conference, the executive committees of the Vietnam Student Association of Da Nang City awarded the Certificate of Merit to organizations and individuals who had achieved outstanding results in promoting the Students of Five Merits movement from 2018 to 2023. In the 20th Russian Language Olympiad for Vietnamese students, the students from the Faculty of Russian Language UFLS-UD made an impression with five first prizes. The prize winners included Đỗ Huyền Văn Trúc, Lê Thị Diệp Chi, Nguyễn Văn Hoàn, Nguyễn Phạm Diễm Quỳnh, and Nguyễn Thị Nhã. The award-winning students will have the opportunity to receive a full scholarship to study in Russia for five years, including one year of language learning and four years of undergraduate training. This is an extremely valuable opportunity for students of the Faculty of Russian Language to expand their knowledge and cultural experience in one of the countries well known for the best education in the world. This scholarship includes both a grant from the government of Russia and living stipend from the Vietnamese government. Every year, the Faculty of International Studies, UFLS-UD, organizes a field trip for third-year students. The trip is a compulsory course in the training program designed for both Vietnamese and international students. The field trip aims to give students the opportunities to have real-world practice, broaden their knowledge of history and culture, and develop soft skills. This year, the field trip attracts nearly 200 students majoring in international studies, oriental studies, Vietnamese language and Vietnamese culture. 
The 2023 field trip has been successfully and safely organized, serving a valuable chance for the students to learn about local culture and history, as well as develop and improve their skills in teamwork, time management, leadership, and many other essential skills. The 2023 Sung Kyung Han Un Essay Writing Contest was held this May 6 in South Korea, attracting hundreds of participants from Korea and outside of the country. The contest was divided into different regions including Korea, China, East Asia, South Asia, Central Asia, Russia, and Europe. In South Asia, Ms. Le Nghi Mai Ong, a fourth-year student of the Faculty of Korean Language and Culture, UFLSUD, won the first prize in the whole region. With this award, Mayan will attend a short course at Sung Kyun Kwan University, Korea, and participate in a global contest this August. On the afternoon of May 27, 2023, UFLSUD, in collaboration with the Department of Education and Training of Danang City, held the final round and the closing awarding ceremony of the English, French, Chinese, and Japanese speaking contest for high school students in Danang City in 2023. After intense and exciting competitions in the four language categories, English, French, Chinese, and Japanese, with the fairness and responsibility of the judging panel, including representatives from consulate, international organizations, experienced foreign language teachers, and lecturers of the city and the university, the organizing committee selected excellent candidates to award four first prizes, six second prizes, nine third prizes, and 19 consolation prizes. On April 6, 2023, at the venue of UFLSUD, the UD Labor Union hosted the progress meeting of Labor Union's affairs for national universities, regional universities, and agencies of the Ministry of Education and Training. Within the framework of the meeting, a seminar was also held under the theme Role, Position and Characteristics of the Direct Superior Labor Unions and Grassroots Labor Unions, Opportunities and Challenges in the New Era. The meeting and seminar held at the UD are a good opportunity for delegates from core labor unions to meet, share experiences, propose innovative ideas and solutions for the development of labor union activities. This also helps to enhance the reputation, academic status, and position of national universities and regional universities in the country's higher education system. On the evening of April 17, 2023, the Executive Committee of the Youth Union, the Executive Committee of the Students' Association, and the Executive Committee of the Veteran Association of UFLSUD cooperated with the Center for Culture Cinema of Danang City to hold the opening ceremony of the 2023 Revolution Film Week with the theme, Legendary Writers. This is a practical activity to celebrate the 48th anniversary of the liberation of South and National Reunification Day, to celebrate the 133rd birthday of President Ho Chi Minh, and to welcome the Student Association Congress of UFLSUD Term 2023-2025. Thank you for watching. Goodbye and see you again.